One of the most carefully planned scenes in the film didn't even involve a battle. It depicted a retreat. He invaded Russia against the advice of a lot of people he normally would have respected. Even Josephine said, don't invade Russia. A turning point in Napoleon's military career. The retreat from Russia was filmed in Montreal. We're going to start shooting the soldiers going away from Moscow. A lot of them have died on the way back. It wasn't so much the Russians that won. It was the Russian winter. We discover that they're caught in the storm, and then the, the Kazakhs are basically killing all of the back lines, one by one. And that's what we're showing, the nightmare of the Russian retreat. Eve is a very uh, talented uh, director, of course, and he's uh, very specific on what he wants. He asked me to find a very large open field that could look like uh, Russia, uh, beginning of the 19th century. He wanted to feel misery, he wanted to feel the cold, he wanted to feel the dying soldiers. They left with 400,000 and they came back with 40. We brought snow cannons from ski centers, wind machines, artificial snow, smoke, to create a big, big, big blizzard. We have to uh, play the machine according to the wind. We have to bring the snow in front of the cameras depending on what angle they're shooting. To move this equipment around, this is the biggest challenge. Don't worry. Shooting outside in the winter is a pure pleasure. We're all starving, almost knee deep in snow, and it is very cold. Be happy. I've got fleece long underwear, I've got a fleece shirt. The misery is on the other side of the camera, but we'll love it. I need a medic, I lost my fingers. <laughs> From the snow cannons to the wind machines, the effect was chilling. But the real magic was in the makeup. Today we have uh, 100 extra soldiers, and they have to look uh, very, very uh, bad, you know. <laughs> We've had two main looks. One was mildly frostbitten, which is the red phase of when your face starts getting red and a little bit of frostbite black. And then there was the about to die from freezing, which was like very pale blue with all kinds of icicles and snow, frozen tears, blood. Me personally, I enjoy doing the almost about to die people because you get to do like frozen tears, icicles hanging off their face, and it's always a variety. It's like it's never going to be like doing frozen guys all the time. It'll be frozen guys today, corpses tomorrow, dismemberment the day after. The makeup, the special effects, and the stunts all come together to create a spectacular historical drama. The story of Napoleon is incredibly filmic because of its ups and downs and because of the natural drama inherent in it. This foul deed will bring a curse upon us. Sorrow to you, sorrow to me. He's always looking at events from his own perspective. I'm talking about Napoleon here, which makes it harder to judge yourself, you know. So he never really feels that he's made a mistake. War things can happen than falling from power. Get out, Fushin. Your humble servants are for the next 45 minutes, at which time I shall have to ask you to leave. He starts as a nobody, he becomes the emperor of Europe, and he ends alone in isolation. It's a classic rise and fall story. Napoleon is a story about a man who defied his destiny and redefined the fate of France. The French Revolution and right after, it really is the beginning of modern times as we see it. His vision of Europe is almost the Europe we are building right now. He had a vision that was based on, let's create one currency, let's abolish borders, which is something that's happening right now in Europe. You can still see some of the marks of Napoleon today in France and around the world. Every day he sends designs for new monuments, parks, halls, markets, and of course his preferred creation, the civil code. The Napoleonic code, the civil code, is law in about 90 countries. 
A&E presents an epic television event, the tale of one man's insatiable desire for absolute power. I have 150,000 men ready to die for me, with whom I can subjugate, crush, or destroy anyone I like. The making and breaking of an empire. Everyone is aware that you have lost most of your troops in Russia. And the price paid in love. You betrayed me. And war. You did it for you. Because you want power, and for that you need allies. Some men want to rule a nation. He wanted the world. Napoleon. On A&E.